Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price. Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. If he squeals, I squeal! You're an efficient killer. I like that in a man. With me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. Anything you want. Yeah. What up, guys? Um, as you can see, um, the video that you watched previously to seeing what you're seeing now. Yes, I have the official, very limited edition, Sideshow Collectibles Grand Theft Auto 3 Claude Speed figure. Hell, yeah. Um, you know, Grand Theft Auto 3 was uh, a game-changing game, meaning they changed the whole, the whole, the whole thing about gaming, you know, video games and the way games are played in open world games, it just opened up new doors for everything. Um, you know, like I said, the first time I played this game was probably about, uh, when did it come out? Uh, 99, 2000, 2001. Is that when it came out? Because it's a 10 year anniversary, so. Um, it was a, it was a big deal for me. I mean, I've never seen a game that you can run around, do what you want to do, you know, kill people, drive cars, just, you know, just pretty much set the bar for all the gaming that I do now. Like, I only play, like, open world games now. I play Assassin's Creed, obviously Grand Theft Auto 4, um, you know, Saints Row, stuff like that, games that, uh, you know, you'd be able to do what the fuck you want. You know, anytime you want to do it, so... Anyways, we'll get right into the figure. Uh, I bought this off a uh, fellow YouTuber. You guys might know him as Beta2G. Tom, what up, dude? Finally came. And, um... Yeah, I like how you put on the uh, box. Uh, it was from Dexter Morgan. Kid, you need help. But I love it. Um, you guys might know him on uh, the Sideshow Freaks as Dark Passenger. Yeah, he's a little obsessed with Dexter. But thanks a lot, kid. Um, <clears throat> Tom had, uh, you know, bought the figure from the Rockstar Warehouse about a week ago. Um, you know, shit happens. He had to sell it. Unfortunate for him. Good thing for me. But um, I'm going to take the slip cover off. Tom already did a review on this, but I'm going to do my own review. So, you know, this is the back of the box. You guys want to pause it and, um, you know, read the box. Um I haven't even read it yet, so, again, if you guys want to, I'll start here, if you guys want to pause it there, you can read it, and then, you can pause there and read it. Okay, there's the box, very nice, you know, on the side you have a picture of, uh, Claude, you know, originally he didn't have a name, like, he was a mutant in the fucking game, nobody knew his name, I don't know how he got the name Claude, maybe it was just... You know, forums and websites that just came up with that name, Claude, and then the, it became Claude Speed, but I don't know. I never called him Claude. I just called him the dude from GTA 3, you know. But it's pretty cool that uh, they have the, the five-star wanted level there, so he's wanted, obviously. Um, same picture on the other side. I don't know if there's a glare, but fuck it. All right, uh, the inside box. Oh, this fucking thing fell, huh? Yeah. Alright, inside box is basically the same thing. Um, we have here is a... Uh, yeah, it's magnetic. We have a magnetic piss flap here. I right, open it up. Like I said, Tom already did a review on this. So, I'm not going to go too fucking crazy with it. But, as you can see him there and the fucking glare is unbelievable. Um, let me uh, take this bitch off the Alrighty. tripod. Um... As you can see there, there he is in there. You know, um, you'll be able to get a better view, but I just want to show you how he's packaged. He's got uh, two hands there. Uh, 
is a fisted hand there and a gun trigger hand and I assume that the other two are just the opposite of these. Um, you have his orange Liberty City jail jumpsuit which uh, I would love to display an alternate figure of him if uh, possibly somebody would sculpt the new head or they would sell just the heads because that would be awesome. Um, guns. You have the Uzi 9mm. Uh, he has his baseball bat. Two hand grenades. Uh, his knife, like Tom said, it doesn't look like the knife in the game. Is his handgun, which obviously whoever's played this game, that's the the gun, the first gun you basically get, and you have it <laughs> through a good portion of the game until you get more. Um, you have the sniper rifle, which comes in very handy in the fucking game. Uh, the M4 or M16, whatever it is. It's definitely an M4, but that gun is lethal in that game. If, if you guys remember, the FBI agents carry these No, I'm sorry. The, the Army carries these guns, and if they see you and you're wanted five stars, forget it. They'll light you up like a Christmas tree in like three seconds with that gun. Then you have the AK-47, which is probably the most favorite gun because you could still lock on and do aims. But I'm going to take this fucker out of the box. All right, guys, we'll go over the accessories real quick uh, before I get into the figure. Um, comes with a standard sideshow stand with the, uh, the waist grabber. Um, I haven't really owned many sideshow figures besides the dead figures, so I don't know if these stands are compatible with the Hot Toys ones. I could put the Grundle grabber in there, because I don't like these fucking things. Um, this is, uh, Liberty State Pen, um, jumpsuit. Um, it's fairly thin material, you know, bright orange, obviously. Um, like I said, I would like to use this for... An alternate look for him when he started the game, but, you know, unless we can get another head. Better look at the guns. Um, you know, sniper rifle looks pretty sick, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, the M4, and we will take the bat, like, like Tom said in his video. Um, the bat's not wood. I think it was painted by Silent Surfer, but, um. Yeah, I'll try to get this to focus real good so you guys can see the uh, the wood grains on it, hopefully. Uh, nope. Alright, there we go. Alright, you guys can basically see the, the grains in the bat. You know, it looks <laughs> really good. Um, it is plastic. Like I said, um, very nice touch. One six scale baseball bat. Um, like I said, there's the uh, the handgun. Looks pretty good. Um, I haven't taken it out, so it most likely cocks back, and the magazine is removable. Uh, there's the knife, the two grenades, the Uzi nine millimeter. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, these are really nice, done, nicely done. Um, I think Evil Face said that uh, they just reused weapons from uh, G.I. Joe figures. I don't know any of them, so I don't know. Alrighty. Okay, guys, there he is. Uh, pretty nice looking figure, to be honest with you. Tom, again, I want to thank you, dude. Um, we'll start right with his sneakers. Um, he's got his blue, uh, that's supposed to be Nikes, I guess. Um, I don't remember in the game, but I'm actually playing it right now. Um, uh, I feel like Kevin. Uh, uh. All right, he has uh, baggy cargo pants. They're green color. They're almost the same color as uh, Dexter's pants, um, or uh, kind of like the Terminator One pants. Pretty cool figure. Uh, again, the ratchet articulation with the knees. Click clack 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 click clack. Um, ba ba ba. Yeah, stand looks good. I was able to swap the grundle grabber with the crotch grabber. I mean, uh, with the the, um, the waist grabber. Hands have nice texture. Uh, they have veins in them, as you can see there. The light probably sucks ass right now. Sorry. Um, there's a leather bomber type jacket. Like I said, I'm probably just gonna pose them with the uh, beard. The the beard, huh? Wow. I'm losing my fucking mind. Um, yeah. Hey, bear with me.
me, guys. Get the fucking sidetracked. Yeah. Alright, there's the uh, head sculpt. Pretty damn good, I mean. Considering they, they had to copy it from a video game, a pixelated video game at that. So, looks pretty good. It does have a ball jointed neck in two pieces. I like the way I'm glad that the head is a separate part from the neck. Um, Hot Toys recently started doing that with, with all their figures. I'm glad they did because I think the, the sculpted neck that's attached to the head looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, I mean, there's not pretty much anything else to show, guys. I mean, like I said, this is his jacket, the back of his jacket. I mean, that's what you basically see the whole game with him running. You know, let me back it off. This is what you see in the game. So it looks pretty good. Um, they said it comes with two fisted hands right there. Very veiny. Uh, 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 hey, butthead. <laughs> Wait, I'm butthead. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, dude. Alright, um, that's it, guys. Uh, I'll do another video later on. I just want to check this guy out, get him set up, and I'm out. If you guys can uh, scoop him up, get him, because there was only uh, 1,500 of them I made. So uh, I was lucky to get it off Tom. Thanks, buddy.